What's up, everybody? It is, uh, let's see, Saturday, April 25th, and it's been raining all day long. Drove down to the lake to pick up my boat from the mechanic that it was getting tuned up with. Got all the way down there, hour away, and they are temporarily closed on Saturday. So, wasted my whole morning. <laughs> uh, stopped by my taxidermist, and guess what? I don't know if you can see him back there. But uh, yeah, kamikaze is all done up and getting ready to hit, hit the wall here at the office. So keep hanging in there and we're gonna move some things around and get him his permanent place with the rest of them. So guys, stay tuned. Probably gonna get back out into the field tonight just depending on what this weather continues to do. If it's gonna pour all night, I'll probably, probably take a pass. But if it keeps doing like this, I'll more than likely get out in that blind. So keep hanging in there. All right, everybody, it is uh, Sunday, April 26th. I'm gonna try to get this uh, intro done in between windstorms here. Uh, just been a crappy day altogether. Pouring rain, cold, windy. And I went out for a couple hours this morning. Couldn't strike a bird up for, to save my life. Popped a hill, and sure enough, there's a whole flock of birds on the other side and they all scatter and take off. So, kind of got me down, hiked on out, went back to the house, came to another spot. As you can see, got the blind set up, got some decoys out here in front of me. I'm gonna try to uh, call in one of these satellite birds. You'd figure, I mean, we're over a week into it now. You'd figure uh, these big toms are gonna start breaking loose of all these hens and start getting a little bit more vocal. So Drew was out this morning, had all kinds of action, but the same as me, no gobbles, no strutters, no toms. Um, but he did have a hen pitch out uh, out of roost fly right over his head, land right in front of him in the field, and just circled him where he was at for a pretty good while. So check this out. Morning guys, Drew here with you. I'm heading out, heading out to one of my spots. Long story short, we uh, we hunted it last weekend. It's about 30 mile an hour winds coming off the lake, raining, blind, the walls of the blind were beating in against us. Uh, had shotguns, propped up against the front of the blind to try to keep the wind from whipping it. It was awful. Bad deal. Uh, had some birds come out and they were probably 300 yards away at the time. Could not pull them off the ends. Uh, so they kind of disappeared over the hill. We hopped out of the blind. We went and stalked them for uh, closer to four or five hundred yards. And then just played cat and mouse. Got within 20 yards of the of the tom and we were in tall grass and every time i'd grab my gun and pull it up he'd drop that head and he'd go over this little rise and so it's close we just couldn't get it done uh, so anyway we're gonna try to redeem ourselves this morning a little bit get out here and get set up and see what we uh see what we can't figure out so before i keep rambling i'm gonna hop off here so y'all just stay tuned with us and hopefully we can get a bird on the ground
How awesome was that? <laughs> oh, deer coming in. He's got a good little honey hole right there. Just needs, just like, just like a lot of us out here that can't strike one up right now. Just needs those big strutters to break loose and start responding to some calls. So, guys, we're gonna settle in here until dark. So, wish us luck. It is, uh, let's see, Sunday, May 3rd, and I haven't heard anything since sunup. Right as the sun was rising, one gobbled from the roost and flew down into this field about 400 yards away. And then they've been milling around out there all morning, about 9 o'clock now. Haven't heard anything gobble since. Can't get anything to respond from this side of the farm. I got the decoys out. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep sitting here because it's typically a good setup throughout the day, especially around 10, 11 o'clock as they start working their way from the right side here out into the field. And they'll see how many those decoys and come this way. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do, but Adam and, uh, and Travis are both out. Drew's out again. He just got a really nice bird <clears throat> a couple days ago. So let's jump over and check out his hunt. Hey guys, it's gonna be real quick here. Uh, it's about 5.40. I'm right on time. I have none to spare. Um, I'm gonna get out here to my spot real quick, get set up. I've not got to hunt nearly as much as I'd like to this season. It's been crazy busy with work and whatnot. But uh, anyway, I'm half out of it. We gonna get out of here and we gonna get after it and see if we can get a bird on the ground. So y'all stay tuned with us and hopefully Hopefully we can get it done. Alright, I know it's still dark. You can't hardly see, but we're set up. We're in the barn. Ready to go. Ready to shoot something in the face. Anyways, y'all stick with us. We'll see if we can get something done. Got it done. Whew. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Shot him right in the face. Whew. We're a little shaky. Hold on. I wish he'd quit that. Great morning, great sunrise, um, awesome action. I've been working that guy for about an hour and a half. He didn't gobble at all. Uh, I had a bearded hen come up and then had a Jake come up. I, you know, I about give up on this spot, honestly. I'd been watching this bird early on a few weeks ago and uh, and then open the morning came, terrible weather. He was 350, 400 yards out. Uh, been back a couple times since, hadn't seen him, hadn't heard him. And uh, I'm just tore up. I'm tore up. Great morning. Uh, I'm gonna go out here and check this dude out, so y'all come with me. 
Well, the uh, at Kent, that got it done. As you can see he's uh, he's leaked a little bit here. Young bird, not bad. I'm happy with him. Probably a had a 10 inch beard, 11 if you want to really push it. About an inch spur. Oh, he's a pretty bird. I'm happy with him. So, like I said, it was a it was a slow morning. At first, I heard a I heard a bird gobble across the lake a piece, and uh, it wasn't until it wasn't until 7:05, 7:10 that he even made the first noise. Uh, so, at that point, the bearded hen was gone out of my eyesight, but uh, there was a Jake. Jake right over here on the tree line and so I finally heard him gobble I thought all right I might be able to do something here and so we we just played cat and mouse for a little bit and I stayed put and uh, I had my hen decoy out and so I just did some real soft purrs and clucks and just trying to not really sound interested and get his attention so he finally finally worked his way up here and uh and there he lays. So yeah, so I'm gonna get this guy out of here and get him back to the house, get him cleaned up. And it's been a good morning, really good morning. So y'all stay tuned with us as uh, we've got till the 10th to try to get more birds on the ground. And as always, wake up and hunt. All right, everybody, just wrapping up here. It is May 6th. I didn't make an intro video for today's hunt. Had to work late. Just had a few hours of slip back here on this property and uh, got back, sat there for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes and hadn't seen or heard anything. Nothing was responding to calls. Imagine that. It's been that way the whole season for me anyway. And basically working this, this field edge, so I really wasn't paying attention to uh, behind me and I typically never really have birds come out of the woods that way at night. They usually are working from the other side of the property across that field and they roost uh, to my right from where I was sitting. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting there, I'm paying attention to the field edge and I hear clucking behind me. And so I, I guess they must have slipped up behind me. I don't know if it was a hen or, or what it was. Anyway, I was getting a little frustrated, did some more calling, and all of a sudden I see a speck out about 300 yards, 350 yards out across this field, and it is a big old, old Tom coming across this field, working right to my call. He was basically on a string. Uh, he got about, he closed the distance probably about another 100 yards, and then he really started hammering. I mean, he was gobbling back good. And I was like, all right, here we go. We're about to have action here. And out of nowhere, this hen just comes beelining across straight to him. And as soon as as soon as soon uh, she came to him about where they were at, because he kind of got hung up just on the other side of this rolling hill. And he would pop his head up. He would look around. He would go back down, pop his head up, come up, go to full strut, go back down. And then all of a sudden she comes and I don't, I don't see them. I don't see either one of them. So I'm assuming they got down in that little valley in between the two hills. And then she kind of worked her way off to the left, crossed the fence line, the property line, and worked her way out. And uh, never did see him. And then all of a sudden, boom, here he comes. He's coming back. And he got to the top of that hill again, start popping strut. I mean, he was, he was on it. He was gobbling hard, responding to the call. And I was like, all right, he's still going to come in. And then out of nowhere, he just basically stopped, kind of rezoned in on her, and then worked his way out. So, I mean, it's the most fun I've had turkey hunting so far this season, other than uh, those hens just tearing my decoy up. But, uh, yeah, no luck again tonight. We have, uh, let's see, today is the 6th, so we uh, season goes out the 10th. So four more days here to capitalize on one of these spring turkeys, man. I mean, it just... I have been plagued, and then, well, bottom line, I've spent a lot of time at work just with everything going on with COVID-19, 
and uh you know making sure we're there and, and you know satisfying the needs of our clients and so on and so forth so you know work has been grueling but I'm trying to get out as many times as possible i think this is the ninth or, ninth or tenth time i've been out uh drew finally got on on a bird congratulations to him you know uh beautiful bird and what a setup this guy's got man i mean he's got deer running around within like three or four feet from him uh birds walking right past him just crazy uh, but congratulations, Drew. Great bird. And I'm going to keep after it, guys, over the next four days. I plan on filling at least one, if not both of these Kentucky Spring Tags. So continue to tune in. If you haven't already, get down there and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we've got to finish up spring season here. Um, going to do some more predator hunting. And then, of course, we got preseason 2020 for deer coming up and everything we're getting ready to do, uh, hanging some new stands, cutting in some uh, some trails, pushing back into some different areas on the main farm, so on and so forth. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you get notified when we drop these new uh, new episodes. And then until next time, guys, as always, wake up and hunt.